Hi, <clears throat> in this video we will talk about how to generate a rectangular pulse signal in MATLAB and how to take the Fourier transform out of it uh, in MATLAB. And we will uh, do this specifically for an expression type of thing like uh, we will get a complete expression of the Fourier transform of a rectangular pulse like we do in the theoretical way. So open MATLAB. In MATLAB, first define the symbolic variable by S by MS, symbolic variable T for the time. And now we will define a rectangular pulse. So rectangular pulse can be thought of as a uh, some differentiate part of the two uh, strap signal. So in MATLAB, we can create the strap signal from a command heavy side, and we and we subtract one signal from the other. We will get a uh, uh, rectangular pulse so we will take like heavy side of t plus 0 0.5 this command will generate uh, <coughs> a, a strap signal uh, which will be starting from the minus 0 0.5 or oh, for being on the simplicity we can have a look on it like ez plot and for a and we will take the range from minus 50 to 50 and so this is a uh, strap signal exactly at uh, 0 uh, 0 0.5 it is getting plus 1 and less than that it is getting 0 so if we subtract one signal and one signal from here uh, to a strap signal out of it then we will get a pulse signal so we will do exactly that thing now a equals to have a side t plus 0 0.5 so we will be keeping the width of the pulse of uh, one uh, time duration so that's why uh, we will subtracting of t minus 0 0.5 so this uh, command will generate a signal which uh, a gener will generate a pulse which will be starting from minus 0 0.5 to plus 0 0.5 so have a look on it like ez plot a comma uh, Again, uh, we can take it from minus uh, 3 to 3 and, and let's have a look. So this is a perfectly uh, pulse signal um, which can be generated in the uh, MATLAB. The width or the duration of this uh, pulse can be increased by just changing uh, uh, this uh, 0 0.5 to the uh, required value. So that can be done. Now we will take the Fourier transform of this signal and as we discussed in last video the Fourier transform can be can be taken simply by writing the command Fourier and then the variable a so b contains the Fourier expression we can check the Fourier expression by display command it is cos omega times i plus sine omega by 2 times right by over it's a uh, some complicated equation let's uh, see like if we get some pretty of it uh, so now it is uh, some nicer way so as we all know the Fourier transform of the sinusoid wave comes out to be a sync function so if we uh, solve this uh, particular expression it will be coming out as a uh, as a sync function but we can also uh, verify our statement by the figure of uh, uh, this Fourier transform and that can be done simply by ez plot uh, before taking the ez plot let's close the previous windows and now clc ez plot of b and let's have okay it is uh, something but uh, Mm, the it is not properly uh, configured in the uh, about the x-axis so we need to configure the x-axis and uh, we will do that by ez plot of b comma we will be taking the axis from minus 50 to 50 and now let's uh, let's look how the signal looks like yeah but now its amplitude is a little bit larger so we can set the axis uh, 
uh, particularly the y axis so the x axis will go from minus 50 to 50 and y axis will go from minus 1 to 2 and now it's a perfect sync function as we have uh, discussed just now so the Fourier transform of a pulse signal in the frequency domain we will get a, a sync function of it and its title is the again uh, the same as that of the expression of the one more thing here we can verify it like um, in the time frequency domain if we reduce uh, the width of the pulse then we'll get a spread uh, in the frequency domain and that can be verified very easily uh, in MATLAB so that's it for this video thank you